Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we have another episode in our ammo stockpiling series. And also, this is the final week to purchase ammunition before July 1st new ammo law kicks in. I will most likely be doing at least a ammo stockpiling episode per day for this final week as I have some ammunition I gotta go through and uh, kind of have it stashed aside as I've been purchasing and orders have been coming in so we got to get those videos up here but today we're going to be looking at two different ammunition here we have 45 ACP and 9 millimeter uh, the 9 millimeter is from Winchester and the 45 is from Lawman alrighty so looking at the 9 millimeter ammunition first it's a 115 grain from Winchester full metal jacket and it's what they call their service grade ammunition so I purchased a case of a thousand rounds of this ammunition here and it came with, uh, there's 50 rounds per box, so I had 20 boxes for a total of the 1,000 rounds. Now this ammunition right here has a, um, a rating of 1190 FPS, feet per second, and 362 foot-pounds. So for these 1,000 rounds, they were about uh, 18, cents, 18 or 19 cents per round. Uh, I believe the total cost with free shipping was about 187, which really isn't that bad at all. Now I have fired this ammunition and the ammunition to me works perfectly fine. It's very reliable. Uh, I've never really encountered um, issues with Winchester in general. Now I know some of their white box and stuff I've had like some um, some issues with the ammo but I don't I can't necessarily say it was the ammunition itself um, because it had been such a long while ago I just don't recall but I mean I would pretty much say this is a hundred percent reliable ammunition now the service grade here or the Winchester as they call it the full metal jacket service grade ammunition um, I haven't fired as much as I have of the other Winchester but again in general it's all by Winchester and to me personally um, it's good ammunition and I really don't run into issues ever with this type of ammunition and then looking here at the bullet as you guys can see again full metal jacket um, because I have a lot of ammunition I need to go through here, I'm not going to take the um, ammo apart today or the round apart. I mean, we've seen the powder from several other different types of ammo. This to me is a really generic type of ammunition, um, the bullet and everything like that. So I'm not going to do that today. So let's go ahead and move on to the 45. Alrighty, so now we're looking at the Lawman uh, 45 ACP ammunition. Now typically in uh, full metal jacket, or this one right here is total metal jacket, I typically buy the uh, 230 grain, but uh, this time um, I went with the 200 grain. Again, this is a total metal jacket round. Uh, Lawman ammunition, um, from what I've been told and from what I've read, is really good ammunition. I personally haven't uh, fired, I'm trying to think right now, I don't believe I've ever fired the uh, Lawman ammunition, but I've definitely invested... Um, a good amount of money in purchasing this ammunition and I will be taking it out and firing it and I, I have very good faith that this ammunition uh, will be very well I'm sorry will be very good uh, again just the feedback I've heard people I've talked to and everything I've read up it's you know it's spear lawman ammunition and so it has a really good reputation so this ammunition right here has a rating of 830 FPS and 352 foot-pounds Obviously it's 45, so the money, it, you spend a bit more money on it. I got a thousand rounds, so we have 50 rounds per box, 20 boxes, a thousand rounds, which came out to essentially 30 cents per round. And both these ammunitions here uh, were purchased from Target Sports uh, USA, which did offer on both of these ammunition free shipping. So to me and for me, it was a really good deal. There we go. We have the bull right here. As you guys can see now again same with this one I'm not going to uh, take this uh, round apart or anything I'm not gonna look at the powder or anything like that at least not this time around if you guys really want to see it I can do a separate video I just do have a lot of ammunition I need to go through especially because you know we are again in the last week of purchasing ammunition in California before the new law takes effect which you're gonna have to go do the background check alrighty so again if you live in California, um, and I'm repeating this multiple times because one thing I've heard a lot, even with the, uh, the Freedom Week that we had, was a lot of people 
either didn't pay too much attention or they heard about it and they just kind of lagged and they essentially missed out on that week and you know they were very frustrated about that but then again it's like you know when certain things like that happen in California or when new laws come into effect you really need to jump on top of what's happening so that you don't get left behind or you don't get uh, stuck having to go through a more lengthy process for something that you shouldn't have to. And now, again, Freedom Week, a little bit different than this law coming into effect as because you will still be able to purchase ammunition. It will just be much more of a loop, not a loophole, but it will just be much more ridiculous or paperwork <laughs> involved. I don't know necessarily paperwork, but what I'm saying is say it's, it's just going to be ridiculous because you will now have to go through that background check. Um, you will have to, you know, provide all the information and go through the steps and see if the system will even work properly and so forth. And, you know, this whole instant check thing I'm even hearing may not even really be instant. You know, what really is instant to you know, the DOJ or how they set it up is instant, you know, really truly instantly or can that instant be a few days or 10 days? I mean, everything's still really up in the air, obviously, because this law is not taking effect and, you know, things are still kind of changing in a way and everybody I talk to is really unsure how this is actually going to play out. So again, we've added another 2,000 rounds of ammunition uh, to our stockpile here. Um, today we look we looked at some nine millimeter Winchester, which you just saw a minute ago, and now we're looking at the uh, 45 ACP Lawman. Again, um, not that bad of a deal for either round, in my opinion. On top of getting that free shipping, so again, get out there. This is the last week. Again, the last week that you will be able to go and purchase ammunition um, without having to worry about providing any. Um, any information from you on your address and how much you're buying and so forth like that you will uh, need to do that coming this July 1st so if you haven't go out there buy some ammunition I'm not saying you have to buy thousands and thousands of rounds but I would definitely uh, you know get some ammunition and just keep it on hand so that you can kind of see how this whole thing plays out coming here in the first. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And of course, as always, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave those. And you guys have a good day.